Hello everyone, I am Karthik Selvaraj and welcome to the part 3 of my IBM MQ tutorials. So today we will be seeing about the different types of logging types we can have for a queue manager. Okay, so let's move to the next slide. So there are two types of logging types that you can have for a queue manager. Either you can define it as a circular logging type or linear logging type. So if you want to define your queue manager while creating the queue manager, you have to use the parameter hyphen LC to define it as a circular log type or you should use hyphen LL to define it as a linear log type. And uh, to be noted, once you create this queue managers with either circular or linear, it cannot be changed. Okay. So I'll just show you how to create queue managers with both types of logging. So first I will be creating a queue manager called circle using okay, uh, linear sorry uh, circular logging okay. let's start this queue manager as well okay. next I will be creating a queue manager called lion with linear logging I will start this queue manager as well So if you see in properties, locks, you can see the lock type, it is defined as circular. Okay. So I will be defining about these parameters later. And just make a note, you have something called primary files, entry files and lock pages in circular type logging. Okay. And uh, if I go to properties and click locks, you can see this lock type is linear. And uh, you have the same set of properties over here as well. Log file pages, primary files and secondary files. So coming to the primary files. So what is a primary file? So for this configuration there will be three. This is a number of primary files that will be created. So you will be having three primary files created. Okay. So once these primary files are filled or if these prim primary files are completely exhausted then the secondary files will be created and the logs will be written in those secondary files. So that is what is the difference between primary and secondary. Okay. So, um, so uh, to have a discussion about the difference between circular and linear, I have a separate session because I think it is a, a wide topic to be covered as a separate session. So I'll be doing it in my next video. Okay. So you have another parameter called log file pages. I'll just show you what this means. Okay. So before that, I'll show you the primary logs that is created for this queue manager. So in this itself, you can see what is your log path. So this is the path in which your log files will be created. So I'll go to that log path. So uh, for each queue manager, there will be a log, uh, log folder created. Okay. So I'll go to this circle and inside that I can see that this is a number of primary files. So three primary files have been created, each of 16 MB. So how did this arrive as 16 MB? So that is where this log file pages parameter plays a role. So a log file, a single log page file is of 4 KB. Okay. So this let us uh, know how many pages that needs to be created for a single log file. Okay. So 4096 into 4KB file which is equivalent to 16MB file. Okay. So um, uh, a simple max if you had it as 256 then your uh, uh, log uh, file could have been of 1MB. 256 into 4KB is equivalent to 1MB. So I will show you that as well. So I will create a queue manager with uh, circular logging. And I can define my primary. It's not that necessarily it should be 3 and 2. The default value is 3 and 2. But the minimum value that can be for a primary log is 2. And for a secondary log is 1. Okay. So let me create this as 6. And I'll create the secondary logs as 8. And uh, I'll define the file log pages as 256. And I'll define the queue manager name as test. Okay. And I'll start this queue manager. So if you go to this queue manager property and go to logs, you can see that 
it is now 6 and 8 as we defined in the command and the log file pages is 256 so we should have 6 one mb file created for this queue manager okay if i go to this page, see we have 6 one mb files created so this is the difference between uh, I mean not difference definition of the log file pages okay so moving on to the slide so these log uh, primary logs as I told it should be a minimum of two and uh, it also depends upon the operating system that you are using so if you had used an Unix operating system the maximum value can be 510 and for a windows it is 254 i am not sure about the other operating systems so but uh, unix linux and windows are the main operating system that and the mainframes are the main operating systems that are used for mq installation as i have seen and uh, for the secondary locks a minimum value should be 1 and if it is a unix system you can have a maximum of 509 and if it is a windows system you can have a maximum of 253 so there is another constraint as well the number of primary plus secondary logs should be a equivalent at a maximum of 511 for Unix and a maximum of 255 for Windows and a minimum of 3. So that's why you have the primary log to be having a minimum of 2 and secondary log with a minimum of 1. So which is sums up to 3. Okay. And these parameters can be changed for a queue manager unlike the type which we define whether it is a linear or circular but once you change these parameters you have to restart your queue managers for the properties to get reflected okay so a queue manager restart is a must so this is what i explained so um, the number of pages is defined as a log file size so it is the number of 4 kb pages that can be assigned for a log file okay so that is all for this session so i'll meet you for with the difference between linear and circular logging in my next session if you have any queries you can comment it below and thanks for watching the video again happy learning bye